Greetings, this is Phil McCordick from Science Max, and I wanted to make this special video about the science of cleaning your hands. Is soap or hand sanitizer better, and how does it all work? Well, let's find out. To Science Max headquarters! Right, which is, which is in my house currently. Okay, so all day, every day, we touch stuff. Little bacteria and viruses stick to our hands. See? See? There's millions of them. Can you see? You can't see. You know why? Because they're too small to see. You can only see them with a microscope, and that's why they're called microbes. But it's going to be pretty hard to do a science demonstration unless they're bigger, so let's max them out. I give you maxed out microbes. <laughs> max, max robes. Okay, so these are maxed out microbes. There would be bacteria, which would be larger, and viruses, which would be smaller. Microbes are everywhere. Most are harmless, but some are good for you, and of course, some can make you sick. And the thing is, when you touch anything, they can stick to your hands. So here I am, out in public, and I'm touching doorknobs, and I'm touching shopping cart handles, and uh, let's see, playground equipment, and look! My hand is covered in microbes! Ew. So now it's time to come home and wash my hands. But you can't just use water. Let's pretend that these marbles are water molecules. You see, microbes are basically just little bubbles of fat. And the thing is, water and fat don't really mix. Now, if you don't believe me, here's a science experiment. Take a little bit of butter and smear it all over your hands and try to get it off by just using water. You won't be able to. You need soap. So why is soap so amazing? Well, let's take a look at a maxed out soap molecule. It looks a bit like this. There's a big end that attracts water, like that. And there's a small end that basically repels water. And what it does is gets attracted to all of the microbes. And when that happens, it gets it off your skin and allows you to wash it away. So you need a lot of soap molecules to attach to all of the microbes on your skin, which is one of the reasons why you want to give it 20 seconds to allow enough of these little guys to attach to stick on there, enough of these little guys to attach to all the molecules on your skin. And eventually, you can wash it off. I know, this is just an analogy. This is why it doesn't work as well as, as this does. So now, picture a really awesome animation showing soap molecules attaching to and surrounding every microbe on my skin. Ooh, genius. And after about 20 seconds and making sure that you've got it all over your hands and you've got soap molecules attached to all the microbes on your skin, you add some more water and... It all washes off. Hopefully you're using softer water than I am. And that's basically how soap gets rid of the microbes on your skin. But there's a bonus. Say this is a virus of COVID-19. It looks a lot like this, a spiky ball. But what it is really is a bubble of fat. You see, there's a skin on the outside called a lipid, which is basically a fat. And now I couldn't find a spiky water balloon. You'll have to picture that. Now here's the thing, soap and fat interact like this. And it destroys the skin of the virus, which basically destroys the entire virus. Soap destroys COVID-19. So what's the difference between soap and hand sanitizer? Well, soap has the soap molecules we talked about, and hand sanitizer uses alcohol molecules. So remember those little bubbles of fat? Well, the alcohol in hand sanitizer is like a bubble of fat destroying machine. And when it makes a hole, they get completely destroyed. The problem is when you use hand sanitizer, that stuff is still on your hand. The alcohol evaporates, leaving behind all the virus guts and dead bacteria. And 
If you have dirt on your hand, they might be able to hide between the layers of dirt and stay away from the alcohol. So, use hand sanitizer when you're out, but the moment you get home, make sure to wash it all off with soap. Ugh. So there you go. That's how soap and the alcohol in hand sanitizer work to keep you safe. Now, when you're using hand sanitizer, about 70% alcohol is optimum. And when you're using soap, what's the optimum there? Expensive soap? Cheap soap? Uh, shaped soap? Or those little soaps your grandmother puts out? What about liquid soap or, or dish soap? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Soap is soap. Should you use antibacterial soap? Well, here's the thing. The regular cold, the regular flu, and COVID-19 are viruses, not bacteria. So they are not affected by antibacterial stuff. Soap will work just as fine. But remember, you need to wash your hands for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is about the length of time as the Science Max theme song. Hey, how about that? I hope you liked this video. Check out the link below to see more videos of Science Max experiments at large. And if you want to see more videos like this here on my own personal channel, let me know on social media. And until then, take care.